Good evening, everyone. I'm Katie Moore. Sharice and Karen, they're both working remotely tonight. It is a question so many of us have. Where in the U.S. did COVID-19 first really take root? That sort of information will eventually lead to a vaccine. And Danny Monteverdi has a look at what one expert at Tulane says scientists need in order to get that answer and some of the clues that they look for. We don't often think of scientists as detectives, but that's what some are disease detectives, and there is a lot of gumshoe work happening right now. They're trying to find out where the disease has been, and that is an important piece of information. We need to trace the, the spread of this virus in the human population to you know, know where it might be going in the future, how efficiently it passes from person to person, you know, what kind of situations are we seeing the virus being transmitted in. Early research has led some scientists to ask if New York City is where COVID-19 really took root in the United States. But that research is still far from over, and it's too soon to say anything one way or the other. At the same time, there have been some samples from people in New Orleans that appears to show a link back to New York City. And the analysis so far is not very well refined. So we need to get more sequences, more data, you know, to figure out exactly how this virus has been spreading around the, the country. We, we don't have enough information right now. Scientists like Tulane virologist Bob Gary use microscopic clues to figure that out. Just like we have fingerprints, a coronavirus has minor mutations that make it unique. That's uh, nothing unusual and nothing, nothing to really be concerned about in particular. Think about snow. On the ground, it all looks the same, but under a microscope, you see those intricate patterns that make it unique. That's a lot like a virus. And when you analyze all these substitutions together, you can start to put together a phylogenetic tree, uh, also known as a family tree, and we can learn quite a bit about how the virus has spread, where it's come from, and hopefully predict where it might be going. All in due time, Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News.